Hi guys, uh, my name is James and you're watching a video series uh, uh, regarding the Aruba ClearPass installation and configuration. So uh, guys, uh, before going further, uh, let's just discuss uh, uh, a little about the uh, Aruba ClearPass itself. Uh, why we need it, uh, what is the purpose of this device in our network. <coughs> For example, this is a network. Uh, a typical network where we have one firewall, uh, one uh, core switch and there is a LAN network and there is also a, a wireless network. As a network engineer, uh, most of uh, you may be aware that uh, uh, we have many threats from the outside from where we are connected to the internet. So to save our whole internal setup the the network the internal network uh, from outside threats from the hackers from viruses from attacks uh, we use usually uh, firewalls uh, IPS uh, IDS uh, proxies uh, and uh, different devices um, but all of these devices is to save the network from the outside world outside threats but how about the network inside uh, for example uh, a users came with a PC or with a laptop which has some kind of a virus he this guy really don't know <coughs> That there is some virus in his PC and he connect this to the network what will happen the virus will be spread in whole net LAN network or maybe it's affect some of the servers or okay um, it's quite possible uh, an unauthorized users uh, came with a device either with a laptop a wireless device whatever and he connect his device to the LAN or uh, with a wireless even the wireless signal is uh, can reach outside the building for example the LAN network could be inside the building it's maybe not possible for an authorized user to connect his laptop but how about the wireless signals he maybe has have a, a laptop or some other device and from there he connect with the wireless and then that's how he get access uh, maybe uh, some attacker come inside some way they get access either the LAN network or the wireless network <coughs> so which means like not only we uh, need to save our network from outside but also uh, there should be something which can save the network from inside as well so for this purpose <coughs> we use the um, uh, tools like uh, radius tacx or nac <coughs> network access control to protect the uh, network from uh, inside so uh, basically uh, our uh, clear pass is actually kind of server which is providing the services like radio stack access and uh, it's not only a clear pass actually clear pass is a Aruba device uh, Aruba product uh, however we also have a product from Cisco which is Cisco is ice also used for radio stack x and in our case we are working on the uh, clear pass uh, so anyway uh, how the clear pass work basically to understand this whole process uh, let's just first take a look uh, these th three things <coughs> uh, first of all we have uh, we have the supplicant or antivice in our scenario or in any network the desktop laptop printers uh, IOT uh, or any other device which is uh, uh, used uh, for, for some kind of a services uh, by the uh, end user 
is called a supplicant or end device the second thing is uh, authenticator authenticator is actually uh, in our scenario we can take this switch this access switch actually or this uh, AP access point or WLC wireless controllers they can be the uh, authenticator and the third one is the authenticators uh, authentication server so the clear pass or the CPPM is our authentication server so what will happen actually what does that mean whenever <coughs> our end device try to connect to the network via wired LAN network or through wireless authenticator will take the credential of this device and it will send to the authentication server authentication server will check the credentials of these devices and its database <coughs> and if the server find the, uh, the the credentials correct then it will give the access then it will allow these devices to use the network in case uh, if it's couldn't find then obviously it will reject the access request so this is actually the whole the whole process in a bird eye view